episode number four of uh, reading the opera Attila by Giuseppe Verdi with me. So this is the number four of the opera Duetto Attila and Ezio. So the Roman envoy Ezio asks for an audience. He wants to speak with Attila and uh, he proposes Attila uh, a division of the big Roman Empire. He says Avrai tu l'universo, resti a me l'Italia, which in English may sound, uh, you may have uh, the universe, but uh, let it, Italy uh, remain mine. Well, Attila uh, calls him a, a traitor, he's not uh, happy, he calls him a traitor to his country. So, let's go into the score. Giuseppe Verdi doesn't want to waste time and he starts the duet immediately. Hi Attila, hi Ezio, but listen the short music before they start uh, saying hello. It sounds something like pam, 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 pam. This rhythm padabam, means always something in Verdi music. Mainly means something important is happening now or we are doing this now. Padabam. It means is a confirmative rhythm. And then the two no friends eh, because they had a very 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 bloody battle so they know each other. They are best uh, enemies, they say hello each other. And then just before this sort of uh, a prologue to the real do it finishes, Ezio says, I'm going to give you the universe with a really majestic fortissimo phrase. And here is where actually the real duet starts. We already spoke about uh, bel canto structure in the episode number three. So, and we know that when Verdi wants to do a real pure, beautiful bel canto, he mm, invents a formula the orchestra will play for many bars, so to not disturb the beautiful bel canto, beautiful singing of the boy. In this duet, the formula is and this is the very beautiful phrase of Ezio, the baritone, explaining how is the situation of the universe in this moment to Attila. But uh, before Ezio finishes his beautiful first part of the duet, he says the key words Avrai tu l'universo, resti l'Italia a me. And he sings this during a sort of uh, uh, majestic cadenza. Verdi wants to make us understand that this is a key phrase of the opera. Following this beautiful exposition of uh, Ezio, there is the tormented answer of uh, Attila. You see with me the score, it's a, a mosso, quasi allegro, so there is a, a, a change of uh, tempo and uh, this is the moment in, in which Attila sees in Ezio a possible traitor of Roman Empire. <laughs> And 
the first part of the duet finishes with a, a beautiful parallel uh, sort of uh, ending cadenza with the two male voices singing, yeah, you know, this um, mm, parallel graphics uh, going together and up and they go down and then go up. It's exactly like this. Read with me. <laughs> and then we go into what is called the cabaletta. You remember we spoke about it in episode three, the sort of athletic moment of the voices. And here is uh, very beautiful, is a cabaletta for a duet. So one is singing and then the other is singing and then they are singing together. This is the phrase of Attila. <laughs> And now listen, Ezio phrase. It's exactly the same, a little bit higher, because one is a basso and the other one is a baritone, a slightly higher voice. And then, ah, that's so beautiful, the two voices, but also the first violin, the woodwinds of the whole orchestra, they sing the same voice of the uh, two um, singers, Ezio and Attila, all together. Ezio and Attila, they sing again in this sort of parallel style I showed you uh, a little bit uh, earlier, and they keep always the same distance that in music we call a third. So that uh, uh, Attila sings the first note, there is, the second note is empty, and uh, Ezio sings the third note. So there is always an empty note that nobody will sing between them. This is always a third, parallel third part. Very interesting, powerful. <laughs> And you understood this duet, uh, it's a clash of two huge personalities, of two big uh, generals, of uh, uh, two um, fantastic warriors who mm, hate and in a way respect so much uh, each other. And uh, this duet cannot finish with a big, huge fortissimo of the whole orchestra and the voices. And I love the small note Giuseppe Verdi writes at the end of the duet. Partono entrambi da opposte parti. They both leave the scene from opposite sides. That's so beautiful. Listen, see you very very soon for episode 5, Scena e Cavatina Foresto in Verdis Attila. Ciao!